Okay, so in this problem we have to find the derivative of this function. So we're definitely going to have to use the chain rule. So as a good first step, uh, I'm thinking it might be beneficial to rewrite it as follows. This is 4 natural log tanch. And this might seem like a small step, but I think it does help. So the x over 2, we can write that as 1 half x. It just makes it easier to think about because when you take the derivative of 1 half x, you're really just taking the derivative of x, which is 1, so you just get 1 half. The 1 half hangs out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the derivative. So y prime, so the 4 hangs out, it's a constant, times, and then the derivative of the natural log is 1 over whatever's inside. Because if you have the derivative of ln x, we know that's just 1 over x. So here, it's 1 over whatever is here. So it's 1 over tench of, and then x over 2, times the derivative of tench. So the derivative of tench is the hyperbolic secant squared. So this is the hyperbolic secant squared of x of x over 2 times the derivative of the inside again, which we talked about is, is just 1 half. So it's like two chain rules, I believe. So it's 4 times, and then the derivative of ln is 1 over this, times the derivative of the inside function, which is this, times the derivative of the inside function, which is this. It's like a double, uh, a double chain rule. I guess we can just multiply the 2 and the 4 and call it a day. Uh, however, we could probably uh, rewrite this uh, in a nicer way if we wanted to. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and multiply the 4 and the 1 half. So y prime, so 4 times 1 half is uh, 2. And we're left with the hyperbolic secant squared of x over 2 over, and then tanch here, of x over 2. I suppose you could stop here and this would be an acceptable answer, but just for fun, let's see if we can keep going a little bit more. I'm going to change color here. I'm just curious if this simplifies. So this is 2. So the hyperbolic uh, secant is 1 over the hyperbolic cosine. This will be 1 over cosh squared of x over 2. That's in the numerator. And in the denominator, it's, it's a cinch of x over 2 times cosh of x over 2. Fun times. So this is equal to 2 times. So basically, when you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal. So we'll have 1 over the hyperbolic cosine squared of x over 2 times the reciprocal, so hyperbolic cosine of x over 2 over the hyperbolic sine of x over 2. And then sure enough, some stuff does cancels. We lose a copy of the hyperbolic uh, cosine. So we're left with 2 times 1 over hyperbolic cosine. And then here we have 1 over hyperbolic hyperbolic sine. So y prime is equal to, well, 1 over the hyperbolic cosine is the hyperbolic secant of x over 2. And 1 over the hyperbolic sine is hyperbolic cosecant of x over 2. So uh, not really maybe <laughs> worth doing all this, but uh, apparently these are equivalents. So I hope this video has been helpful.